The journey of Asrai Maraj had moral lessons we have to be aware of. This journey approved the right believer who was holding onto his religion. The day after Asra and Maharaj night, Gabriel came to the Prophet and he had taught him how to pray. He said, Gabriel led me in prayer at the house twice. He prayed the noon prayer with me when the sun had passed the meridian to the extent of the thong of a sandal. He prayed the afternoon prayer with me when the shadow of everything was long as itself. Then he prayed the sunset prayer with me when one who is fasting breaks the fast. And he prayed the night prayer with me when the twilight had ended. He prayed the dawn prayer when food and drink become forbidden to one who is keeping the fast. Then he turned into me and said, Muhammad, this is the time observed by the prophets before you. Abu Bakr said, O Prophet of Allah, did you tell those people about your journey to Masjid al-Aqsa? The Messenger of Allah said, Yes. He said, O Prophet of Allah, describe it to me. I have gone there before. The Messenger of Allah said, He lifted me up until I looked at him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, described it to Abu Bakr. He said, You are right. I testify that you are the Messenger of Allah. The Prophet said to him, And you, Abu Bakr Siddiq. Hence he called him a Siddiq. Abu Bakr's faith is as firm mountains, unwavering certainty. May Allah be pleased with him. During the Hajj season, in the twelfth year of prophethood, and at Aqaba in Mina, a group of people met with the Prophet and vowed him not to worship anyone but Allah, not to steal, not to commit adultery, not to kill their children, not to utter slander, intentionally forging falsehood, and not to disobey the Prophet in any matter and to perform good deeds. He who fulfills this, Allah will reward him by paradise. يا أيها النبي إذا جاءك المؤمنات يبايعنك على ألا يشركن بالله شيئا ولا يسرقن ولا يزنين ولا يقتلن أولادهن ولا يقتلن أولادهن ولا يأتين ببهتان يفترينه بين أيديهن وأرجلهن ولا يعصينك في معروف فبايعهن واستغفر لهن الله إن الله غفور رحيم There were twelve men, and the Prophet took the oath of allegiance with them after the one of the woman. And after that, the Prophet sent Mus'ab bin Amir to Yathrib to enlighten people with the teachings of Islam and call them to this religion. O oh, Mus'ab, the Messenger of Allah has chosen you to teach us our religion. May Allah help me to do that. I was ordered to teach you the Qur'an and to make us understand our religion as well as to lead us in prayer. When the second pledge of Aqaba came, Mus'ab bin Amir went out to Hajj, went out to Hajj with Al-Ansar and the people of Yathrib had understood their religion. Their master Al-Bara ibn Marur went out with them. I yearn for seeing the Messenger of Allah. So do I. We will swear allegiance to the Messenger of God in Aqaba, our master al bara bin Marur. We have to sneak secretly until we meet the Messenger of Allah. Peace be upon him. Al-Ansar sneaked secretly to the Aqaba. They met waiting for the arrival of the Messenger of Allah. Peace be upon him. They are 73 men and two women, namely Nusayba bin Tikab and Asma bin Tam. I am worried about the Prophet and his people because they have hurt him badly. Here is the Messenger of Allah coming. Who is this one with him? The Prophet came accompanied by his uncle, Abbas bin Abdul Muttalib, who though not Muslim at that time, but he wanted to support his nephew. Al-Abbas said, O oh Al-Ansar, Muhammad is one of us, and we have protected him from his people as much as we could, so he has both security and honor in Mecca. 
and Abbas made sure that they will keep him safe and pledged him. The Prophet recited the Quran and encouraged people to enter Islam. Then he said, I pledge you to depare me from what you are deparing yourselves, your spouses and your children. Yes, we swear by Allah who sent you to us to prevent you from what we are preventing ourselves from. Our allegiance, Messenger of God, we pledge it to you. The news of the allegiance between the Messenger of Allah and Al Ansar spread among Muslims in Mecca. About what you had pledged alliance to the Prophet Musab? To listen, to obey, and to spend in difficulty and ease. And to enjoin good and forbid evil in Allah's service, you will fear the censures of none. Then the Prophet pledged them all. But it happened as we heard, Bilal. One of the demons heard about the treaty between the Prophet and the people of Yathrib and called on the people. O oh, people of Quraysh, do you really want to be with Muhammad while everyone is fighting him? The Prophet said, This is the devil of Aqaba, but I will be free from you, O enemy of Allah. Then he ordered them to go, and when the news reached Quraysh, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍّ عَدُوًّا شَيَاطِينَ الْإِنسِ وَالْجِنِّ يُوحِي بَعْضُهُمْ إِلَى بَعْضٍ زُخْرُفَ الْقَوْلِ غُرُورًا وَلَوْ شَاءَ رَبُّكَ مَا فَعَلُوهُ فَذَرْهُمْ وَمَا يَفْتَرُونَ Muhammad became more daring. He was in alliance with the masters of Yathrib against us. They were close to fighting us by swords and spears for Muhammad. Let's go to them. O oh, master of Al-Khazraj, we have been informed that you have allied with Muhammad against us. What are you saying, Abu al-Hakam? That didn't happen. There was a treaty between you and Muhammad, and you pledged allegiance to him. We don't want a war between us, Ibn Salul. That's not correct. My people would never do anything unless I order them. We apologize for you, Abdullah Ibn Salul. Come on, let's have a drink. Uthayb ibn Abi Lahab went to the Prophet and said, O Muhammad, I disbelieve by the star which descended and the one which approached and descended. He came close to the Prophet and slit his shirt and spat on his face. However, the slug did not reach. The Prophet cursed and said, O God, put a dog from your dogs on his way. What is it? I fear Muhammad's prayer. So his friends surrounded him to keep him safe, but the lion came and snatched him out of them and went. After the second pledge of Al-Aqaba and the Prophet allowed the Muslims to emigrate, the Prophet also was allowed to fight and to gain victory against those who oppressed him and his companions. Allah has authorized the Prophet and his companions to defend themselves against those who attacked them. أذن للذين يقاتلون بأنهم ظلموا وإن الله على نصرهم لقدير الذين أخرجوا من ديارهم بغير حق إلا أن يقولوا ربنا الله ولولا دفع الله الناس بعضهم ببعض لهدمت صوامع وبيع وصلوات و
ومساجد يذكر فيها اسم الله كثيرا ولينصرن الله من ينصره إن الله لقوي عزيز 